Hey everybody, welcome to YoPop TV. I'm Grandpa Robert and I have some NFT news for you. So guys, last week Star Wars came out and uh, it didn't sell out. Um, kind of surprised, kind of not. The big reason why it didn't sell out is because the pops were the wrong size. If they would have done the standard uh, four inch pops or the standard box, um, I think this line would have went crazy, sold out and done really well for them. But instead they decided to do a scene type of thing and take some common pops that they put out in the past, put them into a scene and stick them in a box. Uh, big mistake. Um, and you'll see by the prices when we get to those. So here we go, Star Wars Series 1. This was a drop exclusive, so everything has to be bought and sold over drop and drop only. Only. Packs came out. We had 35,000 standard packs. We had uh, 30,000 uh, premium packs. Okay. Originally came out at $9.99 uh, plus fees and then uh, $29.99 plus fees. So right now, they're already down to $11 a pack. So that's just a fraction more than what you would have paid for them. I think it was $10.69 after you add the fees. Uh, and then the premium packs, the same thing. I think it was like 30, I want to say it was $31.60, $31.80, somewhere on there. So you're just barely up. Even in the last week, uh, they've gone down a dollar price and three dollars in price, respectively. So, um, prices have actually come down. If you're ever thinking about getting into them, uh, we're heading towards a good time because, like I said, prices are really low at the moment. All right, so what does it translate to? So, let's get all that figured out. Standard packs 20,842 were burned, premium packs. 31,050, or 31,000, I'm sorry, 3,156 were burnt, okay? So out of a possibility of 685,000 cards, 157,862 were burned, okay? That's 23%. So 23% of the packs were burned. Now that's going to translate all the way down. Like I said, and I always just state this just in case anybody's new, everybody knows. Yes, the packs are random. When you buy the pack, the cards are not issued to the pack. The packs are the cards uh, not issued to the pack until the pack is open. So you have a random chance of always getting the same. But to date, no pack or um, redemption period ending has had more release than what could have been after the redemptions were removed. Okay, or not the redemptions, but burns. Okay, so these numbers are pretty much guaranteed to be the high end. It's not 100%, yes. There's always a chance that they can turn up the redemption side of it and give everybody a big bonus and so forth. Uh, who knows, okay? But um, so 23% of the total packs were gone. So let's run over the actual cards themselves or the, the actual redeemables. So first up what we have is the uh, Luke Skywalker. Um, there was 999, 230 should be burned, leaving us a total of 769. Now, these have come down quite a bit in price. Um, I think originally, I forgot to look it up before. I want to say they were going for about $175, before. They're down to $143 right now, $143. Bucks. That's just crazy. We have three uh, legend or four legendaries in this set. Uh, start off with C3PO. Now the legendaries are supposed to be 3,000. 690 should be burned, leaving us with 2,310 of each that can be gotten. Uh, comparison, guys, we're going to just give you all this information. Uh, on C3PO, last week, uh, right after it came out and stuff like that, it was going for $24. Now you can get them for about $21. Darth Vader, he was going for $62. He's now down to $47. Uh, Emperor Palpatine uh, was going for $30, is now down to $23. And uh, Princess Leia, which is our royalty, she was 3,300 3, of them were supposed to be produced. 759 should be burned, leaving 2541. And um, I didn't look at prices because this one is all depending on the epics and so forth. But to me, it looks like the epic prices are way down. Um, I would say that she's even gone down around 15 to 20% in price. So you can get them for really good deals. Look, guys, if you don't mind the bigger size boxes, they're great buys. I, their mistake was the boxes more than anything else. I personally did not feel that the pack prices were wrong or, or sizes were wrong. This was a big set. This should be incomparable to the Game of Thrones and so forth. Yes, I know there's 
was a different time period. But believe me, if they would have done them in standard size packs, they would have sold out. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. A lot, and I mean a lot of people got turned off by the oversized boxes. People don't like them. You know, there's a very select group that collect those particular type of things. Um, you know, and it's just, I just, they shouldn't have done it. They made a mistake. Um, we'll see if they correct it in the long run uh, by doing something else and so forth, but it's pretty crazy. So there you guys go. There you go, guys. Uh, all the numbers and everything like that. 23% of the packs were burned. Uh, like I said, numbers are still higher than what I would like them to be, but within reason of what I thought the highest it should have been. I always thought there should have been only 2,000 or 2,400 uh, legendaries. Um I think the number should have really been a little bit lower. I'd like to see an extra legendary in there. Royalty around 2541. You know, that's about right. I thought it should be about a 2500 piece, but I think it would have been better if they could have done a Freddy. But so far, no Disney pieces have had a Freddy in them as far as the NFTs go. Okay. I know they've done it in other stuff. Um, the Grail, I mean, it's a cool looking Grail and everything like that, but at 769, it should be worth a lot more. I mean, Star Wars. Then $143, that's just crazy. But the only reason why is the oversized box. You put this into a standard box and stuff like that, this is a 250, 300, 350 piece. I mean, guys, look at the, the, uh, uh, the Harry Potter set. You know, they didn't sell out. Uh, numbers were low and stuff like that. And now you can't touch the Harry Potter for like less than 500 bucks and it just keeps climbing. And most of the po uh, legendaries, I think, are between 60 and 100 bucks. So, you know, whoever scored in there and got them at their low points are really made out well. But, you know, be interested to see where it goes. And then uh, yesterday, in case you hadn't heard, they dropped an April Fool set. So April Fool's 2. Uh, it should be a link for the video sometime in the center here or over here uh, towards the end of this video. You guys can go check out and see what we did. We did very well. Uh, I did the show without Stephen because Stephen was uh, visiting family. Um, so uh, uh, I did well. I got three redeemables, and I won't tell you which ones. You'll have to tune in to figure it out. And uh, um, a lot of fun there. And they sold out. So uh, pretty crazy stuff. Um, so there you go. Hope that helps you guys. Uh, I like doing this information. I hope you guys like it. Uh, be sure to tune in each Tuesday for our uh, NFT shows, except for now I don't know what I'm going to have for a show next week because <laughs> as the April Fool sold out. Uh, probably have at least an introduction because I'm thinking this Friday we might know what the next set's going to be. So still turn on. Tuesdays are usually NFTs. Thursdays are usually Funko product, uh, mainly sodas. And then Saturdays are either sodas or uh, TCGs, which is One Piece or Lorcana. Um, and we've having a lot of fun with those. So thanks, guys, for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe if you like this type of stuff. Like the channel. That helps us a lot along with everything. Uh, if nothing else, watching this video helps us out also uh, from beginning to end. Uh, set it in the background while you're working and stuff like that and listen. And so you can get all the information. It's really cool. And then hit the bell notification. Like yesterday's show was not a planned show. Uh, it popped up. And if you would have had your uh, notification bell on, it would have let you know that we did that particular show. So... That's it, guys. Uh, hope this information helps. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day, and I'll, I'll see you on Thursday. Bye.